Hey, uh, my name's Aaron Bland from Drone Cycles out of Ashland, Oregon, and we're going to show you a little bit about the derailleur we're working on. What you see here is um, the Gen 1 prototype. We displayed this at Sea Otter, and we've been testing it all summer. Um, a lot of good miles on it, a lot of lessons learned. Um, went through a few versions of the clutch, and um, since then, we've uh, come up with our Gen 2 prototype, what you see here on this bike. I'll go ahead and shift it so you can take a quick look. Um, this derailleur is capable of uh, being compatible with just about any shifter and cassette and the way we do that is with this cam down here um, we can change the pull ratio um, for any shifter any cassette so um, this is a high precision rebuildable um, durable compatible uh, derailleur that's really the focus of this unit as you can see it's mechanical um, we're pretty proud of it I think it's shifting really well um, it uses ball bearing pivots for each of the pivots that helps us get rid of all the slop in these joints which is a inherent source of shifting trouble we have a, a pretty clever uh, mounting design here that also eliminates uh, all the play there's also a UDH direct mount which is what you see here but we can also do a conventional mount as well it uses a different length bolt and you remove this plate so what we're trying to do here is give people the ability to service it themselves. Um, you still get the precise shifting. You can modify it. Um, let's say you put this derailleur on a different bike with a different shifter and cassette. No problem converting it over. Um, the clutch is fully rebuildable. You can adjust the clutch friction level. Um, so the way this clutch works is it has a ratchet mechanism inside and two uh, spring washers as the friction elements. As a part of the ratchet feature, there's an inherent um, dead band here. You can see it. Um, and what we're trying to do with that is get uh, not too much, but not too little uh, dead band uh, before the friction starts. Why do we do that? Um, it's because when you're shifting, you don't want to be fighting a nice stiff clutch. So we want to give people the ability to have an easy uh, upshift or um, as the suspension initially moves, that initial movement isn't hindered by the friction of the clutch. Um, and that's why that play is actually a good thing. Now, if we have too much, we run into the problem, you're still going to drop the chain. So getting the right amount is what we're trying to do here. And then coupled with that is what we call the flex cage. So this, what this allows us to do is the lower the lower pulley is com much more compliant the upper one is rigidly mounted and there's actually a separate part for the lower cage that's mounted on rubber grommets and that allows the chain to track um, toward the chain ring better but it also uh, helps with this dead band so we're trying to keep vibration out of the chain as much as we can with the, the flex cage but also help it track where it wants to to the chain ring so the other product you see here, we, we also um, sell rebuild kits for SRAM access derailleurs. That's what you see right here. Um, we actually do mail-in rebuilds, but we'll also sell the tools and products direct if you want to do it yourself at home. And as part of rebuilding these access derailleurs, there's actually quite a few specialty tools we offer. So this one is actually um, a punch holder. It allows you to install and remove the pins which are press fit into these holes so with that punch and hammer you can easily remove with this tool we also make a small um, this is kind of a fun uh, snap ring tool for those tiny little snap rings and there's actually little hooks on the end of these prongs that grip the snap rings nicely and then another tool that comes in very handy is the uh, spring clamp so you clamp the torsion spring in there you can wind up the preload as you install the lower link. So this little tool is like a, a pliers and a fixture all in one for when you're rebuilding it. It's easy to get the spring out. It's nearly impossible to put it back in unless you have one of these tools. So these tools are critical when you do the Madrone rebuild on your SRAM access derailleur.